Today I have for you the 5 most OP campaign weapons which are a must to own while going through the story, making this a whole lot easier on yourself. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps me out and subscribe if you want more Borderlands 3 videos. Before we go any further, I'm also giving away a copy of Borderlands 3, so to win it for yourself or a friend, make sure you are subbed, drop a like on the video and turn those notifications notifications on. Also to mention spoilers may lie ahead, be warned. Now before anyone states, yes when you get to a level 50 and play on Mayhem 3, for sure you can get some insanely OP weapons, that is pretty obvious. That isn't what this video is about, this video is about getting yourself 5 weapons while playing the campaign which will make completing the campaign a whole lot easier before you get to those higher levels. I also bet you've clicked on loads of videos promising these OP weapons to help you out but they require you to have already completed the campaign to get. Not this video. This video will help you out. Okay so playing the campaign and getting actual weapons to stick with is kinda hard because of the amount of loot that does indeed drop. But these 5 weapons are insane and I guarantee you they will see you through the campaign. But yeah it obviously makes sense to not grab them all at once as you want them to progress with your level. Ok so we will start in the order these actually become available to be obtained as that would make sense. And firstly we have a weapon obtained from Promethea via killing Killer Vault. The weapon is a shock burst SMG capable of ludicrous damage and having a weapon within your inventory capable of taking off shock shields is very important indeed and I guarantee you this weapon will be super helpful for you. Ok so Killer Vault is located upon Electricity on Promethea and his exact location can be seen on screen now. Take this route to farm him and hopefully you get this to drop, don't forget a save point like most farmable weapons covered today will be near. So just farm Killer Vault until you get this weapon to drop and you are good to go. Ok so the next weapon in your life which is a must is the one pump chomp. This is also a farmable weapon and again it's located within electricity. Follow the route I take uh, from this fast travel spot to the subways. Now once down here you will need to take out these few ads before spawning him in. To spawn him in you need to do a process of pressing and pulling levers. The order is cabinet button, wheel, lever on floor then cabinet lever twice. He will then come running out of that door in front of you and I warn you guys he is super strong so do not get hit by him. 
The weapon you are looking for is a shotgun called the One Pump Chomp, which normally drops with ludicrous damage stats, and it also has an epic trick of 50% of the time it won't use ammo that you have fired, meaning you can keep shooting a single barreled shotgun like a fully auto monster. The number in terms of damage this thing gives out though will keep you good for a long time into the story, I can guarantee you that. Again, the boss is farmable via a save point located just before the entrance to the subway. The next weapon which is a fire elemental is a weapon called the Extreme Hanging Chad. Now this is a side quest mission and it's basically an SMG, a rare SMG, which is supposed to overheat but actually doesn't and you can literally hold that trigger down for 5 minutes straight without this thing overheating and it is super powerful too. So on Eden 6 within the Floodmore Basin area you need to locate a guy within this area called Chad. He is a daredevil stuntman, his quest is called Swamp Bro and it sees you following him around jumping off things and while for doing this you are rewarded this monster of an SMG. So have fun with it people. Now if you can't find this quest check your inventory as you may have already picked it up. If not progress further into the story and it will eventually pop up for you. Next up we have what is so far my favourite weapon in the game, it's called the Binary Cutsman. Now this is a weapon again which you can farm and will drop in different variants. The way it just literally cuts through mass amounts of enemies is like nothing I have seen in this game so far and it's why to this very moment I am still using this thing, it's just on another level. It works by firing out projectiles which seem to split like causing an electric fence effect but just this time solar and it spreads the fair route travels and it just absolutely melts whoever it touches. The gameplay you can see on screen now is me using this within the story and you can see the damage it does, it honestly makes you feel like you are 30 levels above everything you are shooting at. So this weapon is another weapon you get on Eden 6 and it drops from a boss called the Warden. So we're on Eden 6, travel to Anvil and follow the route I take on screen now to this boss. And just farm away as per usual guys and good luck in getting this thing. As soon as I do get to that level 50, this thing is top of my list. Okay, so the last weapon I highly suggest you get in and taking an advantage of is the pipe bomb, the porcelain pipe bomb. Now I know many of you will already know about this thing, but for those that don't, well, it's probably the most OP thing in the game right now. It makes every boss within the standard story a walk in the park, dealing damage unlike anything I have seen. So this pipe bomb, the porcelain pipe bomb, much like the extreme hanging chad, is exclusive to a side quest which you can either pick up off Claptrap or via the bounty board within the Floodmore Base Reliance area. Now for me, I had travelled far beyond this area, Floodmore, and gone way past this into the story, but it never popped up for me. I had to go and do the claptrap bounties I had for it to drop. So either one way or another people, this is how it's obtained. Now the quest is called the Raiders of the Lost Rock, and it sees you collecting rocks for a guy called Miles Brown. Once you complete this, you then own the most OP thing in the game. Congratulations. 
Now with this lineup of weapons, I honestly don't see you having many issues going further into the story. So get this done people, get to that level 50 so you can play that Mayhem 3 and just farm legendaries all day long. But on that note guys, we are out. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you are new around here and want more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.